Hi, and welcome back to our Nine Days of Christmas YouTube Marathon Spectacular. I'm your host, Michael Holstein, and today we'll be touching on the topic of Christmas songs. Now, I'm going to take you over to our man, the historian himself, Stu King. Check it out! Hello, my name is Stu King. You may have heard of my ancestor, Stephen King. He went the literary route and I guess you could call him a big shot. Well, I, I did not want to go that route. And instead, I decided to go down the road of history. That is why you see me today, as I will travel you down the road of Christmas songs and their history. So, with my big book about history. Let us begin with Christmas songs. <clears throat> Christmas carols. Yes, they started thousands of years ago and were very common back in the early Roman Empire. Ancient Romans often sang carols during their pagan festivals and rituals. A very popular pagan festival was the winter solstice. As the singing of carols spread throughout the empire and Europe, so did the religion of Christianity, and the new carols were written to resemble those beliefs of Christians. The uh, earliest recorded Christmas carol was titled Angel's Hymn and was recorded in 129 AD. Christmas carols and their popularity would then change throughout the different eras in history. Christmas carols would then adapt and change into the Christmas songs we hear today. Today, Christmas songs and Christmas carols live in harmony together and are shared with the attention of all holiday music lovers. That is my history of Christmas songs for you today. I hope you enjoyed. And now I will send you back to Michael. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks, Stu. Thank you for all your help with that. Now to take you to our man, the one with the quirky facts, Mr. Michelle Toe. Howdy y'all. My name is Michelle Toe and I'm here in nice cold weather. And I'm gonna give you some of those quirky facts. So uh, fact number one, uh, I see. Jingle Bells was published in 1857 and was intended to be a Thanksgiving song. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Not many Thanksgiving songs nowadays are there. Number two. All right. Thurl Ravenscroft uh, sings the Grinch song and is the voice of Tony the Tiger. Man, now that's great. <laughs> uh, number three. Uh, in uh, 1952, the uh, Catholic Church condemned I Shall Mama Kissing Santa Claus uh, because they believed it promoted adultery and uh that's not good kids all right number four uh 1975 white christmas was used as a cover signal telling soldiers to evacuate saigon during vietnam wow that's some military facts right there those boys those boys in green love those boys all right number five uh jingle bells was the first song performed in space now that's amazing. Not only in America, not only in the, in the world, but you know, in space. <laughs> now that's just something. Well, that's my five Kirk effects for this run. So uh, I'm gonna head it back to Michael. Thank you, and see y'all later. Thanks, Michelle. Those are some great facts. Now, our team has put together our favorite song list as well, so you can check it out right here. And we're also gonna put it down right in the bio. So give it a listen. Some of these might be your favorite songs, some you may have never even listened to before. So go check them out. Now, without further ado, 
we'll go ahead and go into the main event. Today, we have an acoustic Christmas medley done by, by our very own Ian Jake Robleza and none other than me. So we hope you enjoy and here we go. I was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the pack, all swallowed in their coats, with scars of red tied round their throats. They keep their little heads from falling in the snow, and I turn round and there you go, and Michael, you would fall and turn the white snow red as strawberries in the summer. Thank you so much for watching this video, and a huge thank you to our special guests this video. Their information is down in the bio below. Also, just a reminder, we are doing a fundraiser this year with Red Nose Day. Our goal is $300, and we even have a special donator that is willing to match that goal if we reach it. So if you'd like to participate and help us reach that goal, there's a link in the bio down below where you can donate. Finally, if you didn't see yesterday's video, a link will be right here. Go check it out! Also, make sure to come back tomorrow night at 7 for our next video. The best way to do that is to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Thank you so much again for watching this video, and I hope you all have a lovely night. This is Michael Holstein, signing off. Good night. I was <laughs> with scars of red I can't help it. You said cash. I can't do Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad.